want to find the inverse of the function given here as a table. One way to think of an inverse function is a function that undoes or performs the opposite operation of the original function. So looking at function f, the x values are the inputs and the y values are the outputs. So when the input for function f is one, the output is two, which means for the inverse function, when the input is two, the output is one. Notice how the inverse function is undoing the operation of the original function. When the input is four for f, the output is negative four. So when the input for f inverse is negative four, the output is positive four. So notice how the outputs for function f become the inputs for the inverse function, and the inputs for function f become the outputs for the inverse function. So if this is nine zero, this is zero nine. If this is two negative two, this is negative two two. If this is seven three, this will be three seven. If this is three negative one, this is negative one three. If this is six four, this is four six. And if this is eight negative three, this is negative three eight. The way we express this using function notation, if f of x is a one to one function, f of x equals y if and only if f inverse of y equals x. Again, x is the input into our function f. y is the output of function f, which becomes the input into the inverse function, which returns the original value of x. So these two functions undo each other. One other nice way to show this is to map this relationship. So for example, here's our function f. Again, when the input is x, the output is y and this becomes the input into the inverse function, which returns the output of the original value of x. So again, we can see these two functions, if they're inverses, undo each other. I hope you found this helpful.